Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all an update to my Cardfight Vanguard Eugene deck profile for February 2024. Wanted to update one of the other Dragon Empire decks that I definitely do play a good amount and had some updated support that I generally just, you know, got around to showing you all my number changes, but with the format change as well, having a four card ride deck and a 50 card main deck, it definitely does help Eugene because one of the bigger weaknesses with the deck was just soul charging too much, calling two units out too much and drawing too much sifting through your deck and deck out being one of the bigger reasons why I lost with this deck for a good while even just adding four cards can help to prevent this with a lot of your setup but let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck our starter is double gun of dust storm bart when wrote upon if you went second draw a card we are getting new eugene support in the faded clash booster set as well so I look forward to an update after that set comes out our grade one is gunning of dust storm nigel when wrote upon by cataclysmic bullet of dust storm randor you soul charge one which you can then add added build up for your soul to use with eugene when we ride with randor as well because when it's wrote upon by heaven artillery dust storm eugene draw a card choose up to one card from your drop and put into your soul so you can make use of what you discard off of the uh ride deck cost to then place into the soul thanks to randor with our grade three in the deck being Heavy Artillery of Dust Storm Eugene, along with the copy in the ride deck. We also run the three copies in the main deck as well for the Persona Ride power. On the Vanguard Circle, once per turn, you can rest two rear guards to choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it, and it gets plus 10,000 till end of turn. Another Vanguard Circle, if your opponent's rear guard was retired this turn, Soul Blast 5, look at the same number of cards on the top of your deck. As your opponent's open rear guard circles, choose any number of unit cards from among them, call them to rear, and put the rest into your soul. So set up for you to then use the Soul Blast again the following turn, while being able to have the proper setup you need for a good variety of rear guards. We have plenty of setup, including a car that can recycle cards back into the deck, being our newest one, Clifton, and also a Restander for our vanguard in the form of oswald just plenty of good cards that can provide that added backup for your eugene deck also two copies of hunting gatling of dust storms fierce when this unit's placed on rear if you have a vanguard with eugene it's card name count plus one discard a card from your hand search your deck for up to one grade three normal order without the regalis piece reveal it put it into your hand and shuffle your deck so our order in the deck is best harvest which just gives us more draw power every time we retire one of our opponent's cards so just having a searcher in the form of a grade three to grab this order can help to thin out the decks we can have a reveal for better cards to call and set up into the soul with our eugene vanguard and on rear guard once per turn when your opponent's rear guard is retired by your card ability to this turn you can soul blast one stay in this unit and it gets boost until end of turn so then just making use of this card as one of the rested cards for eugene to then just be able to restand it again so it can provide boost or at least attack into your opponent and I still also like to run the two copies of Penetrate Dragon Trabosh. So we have the extra critical when our opponent only has two or less rear guards, putting it into the soul. Choose one of your opponent's vanguards, opponent, choose one of your vanguards, not your opponent's, and it gets critical plus one until the end of that battle. So added soul buildup thanks to Trabosh, but then also being able to go for added pressure with our Eugene attack. If you didn't want to run it, you could always run more copies of Fierce, replacing the copies of Trabosh we run in the deck with that grade three. And for the grade twos, four copies of Howitzer of Dust Storm Dustin. When placed on rear guard, if your vanguard's heavy artillery, Dust Storm Eugene, put a card from your hand to the soul, draw a card, choose one of your opponent's grade two or greater rear guards, and retires it. So just another retire option with this card also being able to gain power when it attacks. 2,000 for each opponent's open rear guard circle for a soul blast of one. And you really don't mind it yourself because you are drawing off of what you put into the soul, which then that soul buildup can be used for Eugene's skill as well. And also the three copies of Strong Fortress Dragon, Gilbray Brachio. For the Soul Blast and Rest Power to choose an opponent's rear guard to retire with it, at the beginning of the battle phase, if your opponent has one or less rear guards, you can stand this unit and it gets plus five until the end of turn. So along with cards like Fierce, you just have another card that could potentially restand if you even just rested it for Eugene's own skill and you didn't want to waste the Soul Blast for this card's own card ability. For the last of the grade twos, the two copies of Twin Bullet of Dust Storm Travis. Once per turn on rear guard, if your opponent's rear guard was retired this turn, you can counter plus one to soul charge one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it, and this unit gets plus 10 until end of turn. So added pressure for a rear guard to gain power while building up soul just for a once per turn counter blast. It doesn't have to be one placed or were this card using that counter blast because we don't really use the counter blast for much else in the deck aside from a couple cards here and there with one of those cards being our first for the 
grade ones, which we are running four copies of Assault Bullet of Dust Storm Oswald. I run four in this deck. It has to boost behind the Eugene Vanguard, but still on rear guard at the end of the battle, this unit boosted a Vanguard with Eugene. If your opponent's Vanguard's grade three or greater, then they have no rear guards. Count plus one, discard a card from your hand, choose one of your Vanguards, stand it, and increase or decrease its critical and drive to one until end of turn. So if it has an additional critical from the critical trigger, you'll lose it thanks to the restand power with Oswald, but just being able to clear out all of your opponent's rear guards to again get the added bonus that this card can provide of giving you a restanding vanguard and also three copies of beautiful bullet of dust storm jody because as i said before my biggest fear in the deck is decking out so having a card that at least once per turn if you have a vanguard with eugene and its card name soul blast one choose a great two or less normal unit other than a sentinel from your drop put it on the bottom or top of your deck so then you can either set it up on the top of the deck to call back out again as one of eugene's cards but just being a once per turn for that soul blast keeps you as i said giving you resources back into the deck so you'd not end up decking out against your opponents and for the new grade one from set 12, as I said, it's been that long since I updated Eugene. Three copies of Wild Bullet of Dust Storm Clifton on rear guard when this unit attacks or boosts. If your opponent's rear guard was retired by the ability of your Vanguard this turn, this unit gets plus 2,000 until end of that battle for each of your opponent's open rear guard circles. Being a smaller version of Dustin, you can at least, if they have no rear guards, hit for an 18k power with this card or provide a boost to another unit on the field with this card, depending on what resources you may have to use against your opponent and on the rear guard at the end of the battle this unit boosted if you have a vanguard with eugene and its card name retire this unit choose up to three cards from your soul if you do choose one or more cards return them into the deck shuffle it if you did not counter charge this turn counter charge one so this one has no restrictions with what you can return as well all you have to do is when this card boosted and you have a vanguard with eugene retire this unit putting three cards back so you could have some potentially good cards in your soul to shuffle back and then gain a counter charge as well thanks to this card also with the last of our grade ones being the four copies of Twin Buckler Dragon. I just have these in here over the Elementaria Sanctitude because I don't really want to risk, you know, not being able to call out a unit if I do reveal it off of the top of the deck. We have plenty of space in the deck with the orders as it is, being our best harvest, which I run four copies of. I just have two of the alternate arts along with two of the original arts. Choose one of your vanguards till end of turn it gets. Vanguard, when your opponent's rear guard is retired during your main phase, draw one card. So the more cards you retire, the more draw power you get off of this order as well being one of the first cards you want to activate and one of the cards that can be searched off of cards like Fierce as well in the deck and then for our trigger lineup i'm going with the seven critical so four copies of zone and three copies of conduct spark if you have the ability triggers you can always replace one of the spots in the deck for them uh, same with the steel dilfo for the plus 5k shield draws to run and our other heal trigger spot being the four parasolus not running any of the ability triggers just prefer to have the additional shield and not need any specifications to go up against my opponent with it and our over trigger being drag veda because along with our oswald grade one having another grade option to restand our vanguard on top of that unit also but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy. Like I said, I always like updating Eugene just with some of the changes and with the format change needing to update the number of cards you run in the deck. I felt it was time for a deck profile update. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.